With the Badgers season opener tonight and week three of high school football tomorrow, we thought it fitting to do our final back to school sports segment on cheerleading. It was one of the sports I did as a teen and I even dug out my old gear for this one. We are at Middleton High School, and yes, I pulled out the box of old cheerleading sweaters because I was a cheerleader for five years, proud of it, had a great time, and decided to wear one in honor of our segment today. Yes, and Lee is so fired up. We are joining today the Middleton High School cheer team and uh, Victoria Rosh, the coach this year. Victoria, thanks so much for hosting You're us welcome. today. <laughs> Talk to us about what it takes to get back into shape, get an entire cheerleading squad back into shape back for the shape. all season. Cheerleaders are definitely athletes, so it takes a lot of cardio, endurance, a lot of ab strength, we use a lot of core, um, our jumps. So I'm reliving my moments and thinking of tryouts, and I'm wondering and I'm wanting to compare what it was like in the 90s to today. So what is involved when you're trying out to be on the cheerleading team? So we judge on jumps, we ju judge on stunting, body awareness. One, two. We judge on your dance and cheer, our motion placement, tightness, loud voices. One, two, three, four. This is the most fun part about cheerleading. I like <laughs> cheering at football games the best just because there's like so much energy and you get to support your team. What's the most important thing you want people to know about cheerleading and how, how challenging it is as a sport? Because a lot of people don't consider it a sport. Um, I want them to know that it's not just like dancing and cheering for a football team. Like, we are just as much as a team as any other sport is. You know, we compete against other people, we condition, we exercise. This is something that's serious. You can get hurt by this. It's not just dancing on the sidelines. Okay, I have to show something. <laughs> Let's take a look. This is going back to the 90s. My senior cheerleading squad, Carleen, can you point me can, out? Can you not pick out this <laughs> smile right here? <laughs> <laughs> and just notice the foot placement because I'm pretty proud of that. I'm going to try today, but I can guarantee you I will not be able to do it. I look at this picture, though, and I just think about five years of so much fun. And I'm sure that's part of the reason that you do this is because you're giving these girls lasting memories about camaraderie, oh, yeah. sportsmanship, and friends. Yes, definitely. All right, Victoria, thank you so much. We really appreciate you having us out today. Best of luck with a really fun season. You've got a great team to get behind, and we would just wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> We had a great time. And, you know, yeah, Lisa, she couldn't wrong. do this anymore. Check this out. We were able to pull out the stunt. Carlene, awesome. <laughs> That's what you get for being a runner, right? There you go. And then, so, I, you know, I used to be able to do back handsprings, but I don't know. And, and probably a lot of ooh, people out there ooh, used off. to be able to do back handsprings, but I don't know that they would venture to actually try them again. Very brave soul. And you do not even have any idea of how much <laughs> cheerleading stuff Lee had besides the sweater and the poster she pulled out. I have a couple boxes, so we'll just say good memories and leave it at that. And thank the uh, girls and really all three teams this week for letting us practice with them and really relive some fun memories. Yeah, cross country, volleyball, best of luck to all the fall yeah. sports. And it was fun. A lot of a lot of adults love to go back and have a chance to relive those times. Yeah, we just so. have to stretch a little more afterwards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> David George has final check on your forecast when we come back.